Good evening. Welcome to Election Night in America 2020. Tonight we have the presidential ticket Donald Trump running with Mike Pence running for re-election against the unity ticket John Kasich at the top switching from the, Democra from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party in late 2019 with John Hickenlooper, the former governor of the state of Colorado, as his vice presidential running mate. It is now time for the 7 p.m. poll closings. Out of the state of Kentucky, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their eight electoral votes. Out of Vice President Mike Pence's home state of Indiana, it's 11 electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. Donald Trump will also carry the state of South Carolina, and it's nine electoral votes. Out of the state of Vermont, a liberal Republican state, as this characteristic goes, John Kasich, the projected winner of their three electoral votes. Out of the state of Virginia, 13 electoral votes. John Kasich taking a considerable portion of the Republican vote here. And out of the state of Georgia, it is too close to call. John Kasich is in a strong lead, 16 electoral votes at stake. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has a lead with 28 electoral votes to John Kasich's 16. It is now time for the 7.30 p.m. poll closing. Out of the state of West Virginia, coal country here, Donald Trump, the projected winner of their five electoral votes. Out of his home state of Ohio, John Kasich is the projected winner of their 18 electoral votes. First toss-up to go tonight. Out of the state of North Carolina, it is too close to call. John Kasich has a very strong lead, 15 electoral votes at stake. And on the current electoral map, the Democrat John Kasich now taking the lead with 37 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 33. It is now time for the 8 p.m. poll visit. Out of the state of Oklahoma, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their seven electoral votes. No surprise out of the volunteer state of Tennessee, and it's 11 electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Alabama, nine electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Out of the state of Mississippi, six electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Out of the state of Missouri, this one is very close. However, we have enough information by the end of the night. This state will go to Donald Trump, 10 electoral votes. Out of the state of Maryland, John Kasich is the projected winner, 10 electoral votes. Out of the state of Connecticut, another solid blue state still going to the former Republican, John Kasich. Out of the state of Delaware, 3 electoral votes, John Kasich, the projected winner. Out of the state of Rhode Island, 4 electoral votes will go to John Kasich. Out of the state of New Jersey, 14 electoral votes, solid blue state, John Kasich, the projected winner. John Kasich will also create the state of Illinois and its 20 electoral votes. Out of the state of Massachusetts and its 11 electoral votes will go to John Kasich. Out of the District of Columbia, its 3 electoral votes will go to John Kasich. Out of the state of New Hampshire, a state that John Kasich came second in the 2016 primary, John Kasich is the projected winner of their 4 electoral votes. Out of the state of Maine, all 4 of their electoral votes are now projected to go to John Kasich. Out of the state of Pennsylvania, this is the first flip from 2016. John Kasich, the projected winner of their 20 electoral votes. This is actually the first statewide flip. The second congressional district in the state of Maine is actually the first flip of tonight. Out of the state of Florida, John Kasich is leading right now. However, his 29 electoral votes are too close to call out of the Sunshine State. And on the current electoral map, John Kasich has 134 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 76. And actually, the state of Ohio, we made another mistake here, was actually the first state to flip. But right now, John Kasich has flipped two states from the 2016 column, the state of Ohio and the state of Pennsylvania. It is now time for the 8.30 p.m. poll closing. Out of the state of Arkansas, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their six electoral votes. On the current electoral map, no big change here. Donald Trump had 82 electoral votes to John Kasich's 134. It is now time for the 9 p.m. poll closings. All the states in yellow, their polls have now closed. Out of the state of Louisiana, its eight electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Donald Trump will now win up across the red wall. We'll make a few projections in just a moment. The state of Kansas is actually really close at the moment. There's an independent candidate running. However, Donald Trump is the expected winner by the end of tonight. Out of the state of Nebraska, four out of their five electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Out of the state of Wyoming, three electoral votes from this, the most conservative state in the union, Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of South Dakota, another three electoral votes going to Donald Trump. Out of the state of North Dakota, another three electoral votes going to Donald Trump. Out of the state of New York, John Kasich is the projected winner of their 29 electoral votes. This is Donald Trump's home state. Out of the state of New Mexico, five electoral votes, John Kasich, the projected winner. Out of the state of Colorado, John Hickenlooper's home state, John Kasich's running mate's home state, actually. Nine electoral votes, John Kasich, the projected winner. Out of the state of Nebraska, one out of their five electoral votes from the second congressional district, John Kasich, another flip from 2016. Out of the state of Minnesota, 10 electoral votes, John Kasich, the projected winner. 
Out of the state of Michigan, another flip from 2016. 16 electoral votes solidly going to John Kasich. Out of the state of Wisconsin, another 10 electoral votes will go to John Kasich. Out of the state of Texas, 38 electoral votes are currently too close to call. Donald Trump has a very narrow lead. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump is behind with 109 electoral votes to John Kasich's 214. It is now time for the 10 p.m. poll results. Out of the state of Montana, three electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. Out of the state of Iowa, six electoral votes. There are not 20 electoral votes from the state of Iowa. Disregard that, but there are six electoral votes. Nonetheless, a huge flip, a state that Donald Trump carried by well over 8% in 2016 is now going to John Kasich. And out of the state of Nevada, six electoral votes. John Kasich, the projected winner. And out of the Sunshine State of Florida, a very big toss of 29 electoral votes. John Kasich, the projected winner. Out of the state of Utah, their six electoral votes are currently too close to call. And on the current electoral map, we apologize, we did not fill in the state of Florida yet. But 226 electoral votes, the actual number is 255, counting in Florida, to 112 to Donald Trump. We can expect to call Florida in just a moment so we can reboot. It is now time for the 11 p.m. poll votes. And we can now project history. The first Democrat that ran as a Republican multiple times before going on to win the presidency of the United States. Four years ago, you could only imagine John Kasich as winning the presidency as the, a Republican under the Republican Party. However, he has since switched to the Democratic Party and it has led to him victory. He will go on to be the 46th president of the United States of America and it will be the first time in a very long time where two former opposing rivals will now go on to be in the White House together. And out of the state of California, this is the state that put John Kasich over the top. There are 55 electoral votes going to him. He also carried the state of Hawaii and its four electoral votes. Out of the state of Washington, 12 electoral votes. John Kasich, the projected winner. And out of the state of Oregon, John Kasich is the projected winner of those seven electoral votes. Out of the state of North Carolina, 15 ele electoral votes. John Kasich, the projected winner. Again, this is the state we are calling once more the state of Florida, 29 electoral votes. John Kasich of Ohio, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their four electoral votes, as expected. Out of the state of Texas, 38 electoral votes will now go to Donald Trump. A previous solid red state now had its chance of flipping because John Kasich was a previous Republican, but now the state by a hairline will go to Donald Trump. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 154 electoral votes, and as you can see, John Kasich has well surpassed the 270 needed, with 200, 348 electoral votes. It is now time for the 12, 12 a.m. state calls from the states of Georgia, Arizona, and Utah. Out of the state of Utah, Donald Trump hasn't lost this much of his base yet, but the state of Utah, six electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. And we can now show where the Republican peel off is taking place in previously solid red states. The state of Georgia, John Kasich is the projected winner of their 16 electoral votes. Another state, the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes. John Kasich, the projected winner. And on the current electoral map, Donald Trump has 160 electoral votes to John Kasich's 375. It is now time for the 1 a.m. poll closings. At the state of Alaska, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their three electoral votes. And on the final electoral map, John Kasich won the presidency with 375 electoral votes, overcoming Donald Trump as well with his 163. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my personal channel. The link will be in the description below. Actually, this time I forgot to include it in my last video. But upcoming, I have an Oprah vs. Trump election night, so you're going to want to stick around for that. If you want to see the actual election results, go check out the election prediction video that was done around two days ago. Don't forget to check out the mock election community. Again, the link will actually be in the description this time. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.